Hi, I'm Jacques Pépin, and I'm cooking at home. Many years ago, I remember doing that recipe with strawberry, sometimes with apricot in full summer when I really could get good ripe apricot. And that's what I call a jam cook in the sun. I used to put it in the sun with a screen uh, for the fry or whatever on top of the, the mixture and leave it like three, four that it would take off the sun. Now I do it in the oven, it's easier. So here, depending on the type of the season, I like to have smaller berry. The big one I cut in half and uh, take the bottom part of it, take it in half and the smaller one like this I leave whole. If I can, you know, if you can buy all of them that size like this and ripe, preferably the riper the better. And I wash them because there's always sometimes a little bit of a dirt or whatever. So I have two pounds of berry here. I have two pounds of strawberry. And I put in a, in a gratin dish. And I have a cup and a quarter of sugar. Now, you know, when you buy commercial, commercial preserve, one pound of uh, fruit, it usually they put one pound of sugar, you know. Of course, it costs less. Uh, in that case here, I have two pounds of berry and about 10, 10 11 ounces of, uh, of sugar. So I just put it on top like this. And I, I'm going to put that in an oven at 170 degrees. Just wanted to show you the jam now, the preserve, as you can see, very liquid now. After a couple of hours, of course, the, 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 the berries are still raw, if you want, soft, but uh, they are about this way. So at that point, I put it back in the oven, again, 170 degrees about, and it stayed there overnight, 12, 14 hours. And that's how we make that jelly. And this is it. It's about 12 hours later, and you can see now that berry is very candied. I mean, you see the syrup is thicker now. We have a thick syrup. This just didn't come out of the oven. When it comes out of the oven, it's more liquid than that. Uh, but this is cold. It's been out of the oven a couple of hours. During the time, if you're around, mix it a couple of times with the syrup so the top doesn't get too crusty. And this is it. I put that in there. A nice label on top. And I have my jam. I keep that in the refrigerator for weeks or how long it takes or I give it to Fran. I hope you enjoy doing that. Happy cooking.